Hey, welcome in uh, Microgeneracja TV. Uh, we have nice little system here with uh, 460 ampere hour lithium batteries. VE bus BMS battery management system, multi plus 5 kilowatt uh, Fronius 2 kilowatt inverter and 6 kilowatt wind inverter, battery monitor and color control. And the story is the system doesn't work very well because it's a hub 2 version 3 right now and I got a trouble picking policy uh, invert priority because the wind turbine inverter that red SMA wind turbine inverter was uh, losing contact with the grid uh, I have a trouble adjusting that frequency shift in an uh, invert priority that's when the system is off grid so when the whole house was off grid turbine was running free sometimes and as you can see this is Donegal, Northern Ireland, very windy place I wanted to avoid this because winter is coming so I picked uh, stay connected to grid policy and stay connected to grid policy in a hub 2 version 3 is not working very well because MultiPlus is taking power from the battery only when the load is higher than something like half of the kilowatt. This house is not very big and they don't use electric cooker so that was probably only moments, not very, m not many moments when the power from battery was taken. So the batteries were almost all the time, simply speaking, full. Uh, so today we're gonna change this to hub 4 system. This is Carlo Gavazzi meter which hopefully I'll be able to fit in there and here is RS485 to USB cable so yeah that's what you can see yeah the batteries were always full because uh, the load most of the time was below half of the kilowatts so we have uh, meter wired USB waiting to be plugged in but the first step is always flashing we use VE flash remove blah 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 com auto detect because I don't remember com 10 next switch off device disconnect my power connect uh, switch on device <laughs> next result file not suitable for it. the reason why this didn't work it was because I didn't disconnect the EBOS BMS and now programming with the latest firmware which you can download on Victor Professional Portal which I have access to and this file is here and just when we waiting maybe I show you hub for wiring diagram Carlo Gavazzi that's this meter sorry that's three phase system 
Well, anyway. Programming finished. Okay, now we need to start VE configure and configure the system. Okay, so VE configure, uh, I'm running two assistants. To run hub for assistants, I need to pick the grid code first. I'm picking Italian grid code because it allows for wide changes in a grid, frequency and voltage. And we are in Donegal where the voltage and frequency in the grid flies. So I don't worry about EN50438 grid standard. And in the assistant we have self-consumption hub 4. I pick the lithium batteries, 160 ampere hour, the dynamic cutoff. Uh, I don't want to tell much about that. And the other op uh, assistant is uh, inverter support, which is the frequency shift. Yeah, when we work in off grid mode and the batteries are full. Victron is increasing in frequency from 50.2 to 52.7 and with this and the Fronius is programmed that way that he is limiting the power when Victron, Victron rises the frequency. This guy is also programmed to reduce power when the frequency rises but it's old stuff not as fast as it should be that's why i'm upgrading this system to hub 4 uh, send settings just check the charger tab charger tab lithium batteries everything works battery monitor charge efficiency Good, send settings, all settings, go, and because we sending a VE bus, BMS, assistant, the victim will not start until we plug in this stuff. Okay, let's see how it works now. Here we can see the wind inverter, 400 watts at the minute, and here we can see solar inverter, 700 watts at the minute, 300 watts wind turbine, 100, 200, yeah, it's changing very fast, yeah, 200, and Galvo is here, 600. 600 so grid meter one no so hub four that's hub four I don't just don't know why there is no information here but if we go online ah uh, that's our that's very nice to have that meter because right now we have Fronius here and the wind generation here right I have done experiment at the end I just turn on electric shower as you can see 100 amps from the battery which is 5.3 kilowatts 5.4 which is exactly almost everything supplied from the batteries so that works 100 amps cable is getting oh, fun kick on nice nice 107 amps from the batteries Let's see on the battery monitor, 107, 107, okay, that's enough of wasting energy. Well, I'm home now, as you can see, 
that's when I came. It took me two hours almost to wire a meter, but before the red one is the grid, and now only a little little is taken from the grid just now. Uh, I think washing machine a little bit, and that was my test with the shower. I think one o'clock, yeah, one two o'clock. That'll be here. I like this graph. VE bus voltage and current. Look, that's we tested. That. That's when we tested electric shower. Voltage went down to 50 volts, 104 amps. Okay, so here we go, one week later. I can actually remotely control uh, color control, which is the color unit which was there. And let's see how the system works after seven days. This is day, let's pick week. So here you go, no, no, no. most of the energy is, uh, well, half-half this week. 50% was pumped to the battery, 48% was used directly. Consumption. There is still energy taken from the, from the grid, but we have much more usage of the batteries. And advanced tab, uh, as you can see, this is PV yield, and this is wind. It wasn't windy yet this week. This week wasn't windy. Just let's have a look at the consumption again of maybe month. Yes. So before, as you can see, no usage of batteries at all. And solar yield for the month. Yes. You can exactly see here. That was pumped to the grid. Which wasn't really a problem because there is also power diverter installed. Pumping uh, any surplus power to immersion heater. And then that immersion heater is heating uh, water and also water for radiators. So this was my little project in Donegal. Thanks for watching. We have my Sunday Bobo. Say hello. Hello. And we are in Betty's Town, County Meath. Windy and cold, but sun is with us.